Hit the weight room a little more, maybe. No, I'm not saying that. That's... <laughs> I gotta ask him what his uh, regimen is. I wonder what he can bench. 300? A lot. A lot. Gordon with four. Goes to work on Eric and banks it in. That's a good early sign for Daniel Orton. Well, and if you're the legends, you'll live with that shot. You're happy with that first event's in possession. That's just a very nice move. Got a, a big deal in Turkey. That's one of the top leagues in the world. And, and he's been overseas the last three seasons. This is his first appearance in the D-League. Jawan Staten with it. Holloway made both, so it's 4-2 Texas. Orton, spin move, baseline, fadeaway way off the mark. Holloway going to work again, pulls up right wing three, cash money millionaires. Holloway going to work again, pulls up right wing three, cash money millionaires. And Holloway had a little bit of a down senior season at Xavier. As Tipped around, no good. Out to Murray, Teray gets bumped. And he passed that off he for did. Eric. That's not going to be shots. His mojo that year, Xavier ended up. And that's kicked. Yeah, of course, Holloway had that, I guess you could say, unfortunate press conference. Learning experience for him, and he definitely ended up showing the contrition and that he was very sorry for his actions. Williams with the right hand. No, I mean, it's not like this is a, a bad guy to No, Holloway. not at all. Even maybe he had some time to cool down, but you're still fuming after Absolutely like that. you are. That's why I called it kind of just an unfortunate. Oakland, he's from Oakland in the East Bay, Bishop Odoud High School. People definitely misuse literally a lot. Yeah. Eudophia, high post left side for Juwan Staten out of West Virginia, averaging nine points per game this year. Eric, which is planted back to the stripe where he has two points already. Oh, defensively. National championship, had he not gone down. Lost in the Elite Eight that year instead to Wisconsin. First of two Elite Eight losses in a row to the Badgers. Ten to shoot, baseline drive, stayed out for Elliott, puts it on the floor, guarded by Murray, off for Jones, three, draws the front netting, and that's it. An air ball for Verdell Jones, who didn't get Elfia, who can't finish down low. Ball inbounds. Well, Michael Eric from Nigeria, Chris Udopia's parents, born in Nigeria. He has a Nigerian passport, Udofia. Nice 18-footer for Verdell Jones out of Indiana. Well, he's going to have an expanded role without Hobson. He's inserted into the starting lineup. And a guy that really wasn't giving Santa Cruz much production through the... Here's Miller. Off for Wilson, guarded by Williams, slapped away by Elliott, scooped up by Staten. Dewan across that. He said, Sir Allen, it's over to Baker. Beautiful feed down low, and they feed the beast to perfection. Just a beautifully designed play, completely cleared out the weak side of the floor, and there was no lead. So Baker with it on the left wing. And a foul call. And Texas is on the right. Staten drops it off for Vereen. Two on him, off the glass, and that's why Vereen is the CW's all-time career field goal percentage leader. And I'm not sure that Staten released that pass before his feet hit the ground. That could State. Back to the basket. Eric going to work on Norton. Spins into the lane and scores. Really, really nice move by Eric. His eyes were up the whole time. He was surveying the floor. Almost a highlight real play there. The alley-oop for Orton from Staten. Misses the dunk. Pass deflected. Saved in by Bro play. Right to Vereen. No look. Mouse in the house. Orton swims around him but blows the bunny out of. Off the block and had to try to do a little bit too much to get in position to be able to score. Vereen for Orton. Thought about it. And it was smart that he did not put the ball on the deck again because I think he would have been called for a double dribble. Late clock situation. Staten looking for his first three of the season, and there it is. It was 0 for 3 from distance before that one, and Santa Cruz goes on top by three. Two that's Holloway. Four three-point attempt there, and that's got to be goaltending, no? Somehow, not only is it not goaltending. Oh, you know what? Orton may have absolutely blocked that. 
Right, must have been poked away from behind off a Legends player. Right, tough luck there for the Legends. As Michael Eric commits the crime. Eudophia in for but he's always strong in his convictions. And uh, I think a lot of coaches can respect that. Back to the basket, spin move. Eric, nice move, but way off on the shot. In transition, Verdell Jones, eight first quarter points, working on eight bro play and a foul on the Boise State Bronco. To get an open shot to hunt it. Staten splits the double to the rack. Bounce pass a little behind Shaw. To get an open shot to hunt it. Staten splits the double to the rack. Bounce pass a little behind Shaw. Scooped up by Eudophia. Back to Jared. Eight to shoot. Looking to post up Vereen. Gets it left block. Spins to the hoop. Another pump fake. Misses that one. Texas off to the races. Three on two. Bro play. Corner three. That's short. Else who plays in the D-League that they get that Gatorade call to the NBA. Whether he does or not, Two Holloway is a ball player. He is a very good player. Like you said, he was overseas making big money the last three years. Now he comes over the D-League to try to get more exposure and visibility in front of NBA scouts and executives. And he is lightning fast in transition. Shooter's touch for Vereen. Open look at a three for Durham. He ties the, he ties the game. Brandon this guy can Ashley create. approves from the scorer's table. Whether Holloway is looking for his shot or creating for others, he is a problem to defend. State out for an open Verdell for three. He gets fouled, almost got the four-point play. Gets a hand up from Kate Jerseys. You know, I've I never wore B. Holloway, step back. Oh, he knocks it down. Love me some two Holloway. 13 points in the first half. I'm right there with you. He can be my point guard any night. Dayton's chest pass deflected. So tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, Raptors. actually. Tomorrow Interesting afternoon. start time. Two Pacific. And that's going to be a tough one. It definitely will. The, the Raptors. Tomorrow Interesting afternoon. start time. Two Pacific. And that's going to be a tough one. It definitely will. The, the Raptors played the Warriors tough. Uh, a couple weeks back at Oracle Arena, a five-point Warriors win that could have gone either way. Nice wraparound bounce pass. Shaw couldn't English at home, but Staten get a chance for a Drew Schiller. Say a couple years. I think that you need to have the Only a couple years. Three. That last trip down the court. Okay, and if I asked him that and that was his answer, I would say, okay, touche. That's what it looked like to me, at least. Under a minute to go here in the first half, James Andrisovic will join us at the break. For a little bit, Jared Shaw, 16-footers true. He has nine first half points. Three-point lead for Santa Cruz. Foul down low on Mo Baker. So five or six-point lead. Staten with the left-hand handle. Screen from Shaw. Down low, yeah. deflected out off Texas. Nine to shoot for the Sea Dubs. Santa Cruz shooting 53. Down low, yeah. deflected out off Texas. Nine to shoot for the Sea Dubs. Santa Cruz shooting 53%. Williams looking to make that go north a bit. Misses, but the offensive rebound for Baker. Santa Cruz can hold for one. They will. Williams doesn't have a ball. Plays college ball at Temple. State gets it back from Elliott. Gordon, six first half points. Dribble handoff for Jones. Pops the jumper. Caroms off the front iron right to Holloway. Bounce pass to Wilson. Euro steps his way around State. Shot blocked there by Daniel Orton. Coming in, pops the jumper. Caroms off the front iron right to Holloway. Bounce pass to Wilson. Euro steps his way around State. Shot blocked there by Daniel Orton. Coming the other way, State drops it off. Williams a three. Short. The one aspect of his game that he hasn't quite been able to get on track. Three-point shooting. 
That one nearly thrown away. Luckily for Ashley Holloway. 59-54 after the Texas bucket. And a foul. Definitely. They had a deep, deep rotation. Yeah. Ernie Kent was playing 11, 12 guys. No one really separated themselves from the pack. Orton tripped up. And Wilson again, the second. Size. I think I could touch the top of the backboard. Maybe a bit of an exaggeration. Seven to shoot for Williams and Friends. Comes the ball screen from Eudophia. So that's a nice screen. Jones with one, doesn't get it off in time. He's looking to make the right play, but when the shot clock is winding down, if you're Williams, that's one. He's looking to make the right play, but when the shot clock is winding down, if you're Williams, that's one opportunity where you can be even more aggressive. The reverse layup from Ture Murray. He has 11. That was nice. Williams rejected by Michael Eric. Not sure what Murray was trying I to think do he was there. Trying to throw it past Jones on one side That's and then run by him like. on the other side. Deep. Murray slips, and they'll have to wipe that. Wizards last year, if it wasn't for an ankle injury, suffered against Golden State. That kept him out for the rest of the year. He injured himself in March or early April. Hook shot doesn't fall for Orton. Murray for Ashley. Brandon inside, almost ripped away by Eudelphia. Had his hand in Holloway's airspace, but Holloway with just a couple inch size advantage was able to get the shot off. Trying to clear out for Orton, can't get free. Now they'll repost. Right block going to work, draws a double, tries to pass out of it, and gets slapped on the arm by two Holloway. And typically that would not necessarily be a good thing yeah. for Santa Cruz, but the Warriors shooting well tonight. Alley -oop for Elliott from can't get free, now they'll repost. Right block going to work, draws a double, tries to pass out of it, and gets slapped on the arm by two Holloway. And typically that would not necessarily be a good thing yeah. for Santa Cruz, but the Warriors shooting well tonight. alley -oop for Elliott from Jawan. Thrown up to perfection. It's plays like that where Elliott Williams gets to display and showcase his athleticism, and there is a no way. It's just, it's just, it's baffling. It is mind-boggling. Elliott Williams should be playing in the NBA. There's no way he should be in the D League. The 22nd overall pick in the 2010 draft. He had a litany of injuries. Practically missed two entire seasons because of them. But this guy, it's just simple. He's too good for this league. One for three free throwing for Murray. Shaw misses the baby hook on the other end. Now here's Holloway, three, he has 19. Took a little while for Holloway to get that shot off because he was really getting those legs underneath him to be able to make that 45 degree long three pointer. Jones motors to the rack, scoops it up. High Arthur does not fall. Out of bounds off Wilson's leg. But Holloway was able to take an extra Staten to do the honors here. Williams from the left wing. Jones skips it to Staten. They'll give him the shot. And just off the mark, offensive rebound, the putback for Jared Shaw. He's in double figures with 11. An unfortunate bounce for Texas. Wilson was going to have that rebound easily, but it just ticked off the rim. No matter if it's Staten or Jones. Yeah, Verdell Jones, 6'5". One point lead for the Legends. Beautiful fadeaway from the baseline. 24 for two. Nice Beautiful pass. pass. The shot misses the dunk, but he was fouled. Number 52, 52nd overall draft choice by the Mavericks last summer. In fact, I think that if if I the Karim corralled. Screen from Shaw. Doesn't really use it. Vereen. Backing down on Ashley. Has some muscle on him. Nice head fake. Ties the game. Can't say I've seen that move from Anthony Vereen before. <laughs> well done. Nine points for Vereen. Kind of falling away there. Sit down. Now that's the same move. He loves getting it on that right block, going middle, and then spinning back to the outside. The Ashman with 12 points. 
Perrine wants to get him back. Double comes, dribbles out of it, and has it taken away. Two on one. Miller and Holloway v. Staten. And a nice lay-in for Miller. Shaw. And here's Baker. Sanders down by five. Staten seven points, three fouls. Farine the jumper. Much needed bucket for Santa Cruz. With Yadofia and Orton on the bench, Anthony Farine stepping in, getting a couple buckets. Two free throws. To get him the free throws. You'll get no argument from me. I know, I know, but I'm just gonna keep saying it. Maybe we can, you know, get something going virally you. on social media. Shaw from 18, can't cut it to six. Looking to extend this thing to 14-15 at the end, which would make it very difficult for a comeback. Santa Cruz wants to stay within single. And for the second time in the last two minutes, Brandon Ashley is. is Brandon Ashley. They played Golden State. Atlanta won. Baker, shot fake, gets around bro play. Shot up and out for Baker. Looking for a second double-digit scoring game of the season. Two Holloway hasn't scored in the fourth. Just looking for bro play on the... 16 bench points and seven bench boards for the Legends. Daniel Orton back in the game with five fouls. Has it backdoor pass. Williams blocked from behind by Tere Murray. And Elliott Williams not complaining at all. It must have been clean. Good play from Murray. Tries a three. It's short. Rebound trip before the ball even came to him. Williams up top right side. Another nail biter in Surf City. Love seeing guys anticipate one, two plays ahead. Bounce pass to Orton. Shot fake. Gets around Eric to the hoop. Lays it up and in. And that's why he needs to be on the floor. Exactly. I, that is as good as it gets. Daniel Orton. Eight for Orton, five fouls has kept him. Well, Tere Murray has saved four points now in the last minute, and then he gets a layup, so six-point swing. Just by Tere Murray. Four and a half to play in the fourth. Williams navigating through traffic and a whistle. And bounds to Orton. Backdoor not there, hands it off for Jones. Wilson down low, just threads it through to Eric, who dunks it home. Verdell Jones just a split second late in help side to get that steal. Jones looking for Orton. Kicks it out to an open state, and the bounce pass is kicked. Had Eudophia, couldn't thread the needle, however. Uh, that ball wasn't kicked. To shoot for Santa Cruz off the kick. State going to work. Leaning back, falling away. Kind of awkwardly off the wrong foot. Funny you bring up Cameron Jones. There were reports that he got waived in Israel, and then there were reports that he is still on the team. Interesting to see how that plays out. Holloway, the bucket. Big steal by Tere Murray he again. He has made three incredible defensive plays in the last two minutes, and Holloway oh, wow. is just killing Santa Cruz. Holloway oh, wow. is just killing Santa Cruz. He has 32. Santa Cruz down by three now. Coming up on the 310 mark. Kicks it out to Jawan. He's hit one three, puts it on the floor. The step back over Jamil Wilson. Big bucket for the Sea Dubs. 13 for Jawan. This is a fun basketball game. And the good news is we get to do this again tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Two. Haven't gone to him a lot. The six points. Final 90 seconds. Williams. Flips it out. Ten to shoot for Juwan State. Drives, dishes, Utopia loses it. Guys are slipping all over the floor. Oh, Baker's going to come in at the next dead ball.